Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about the roots and zeros and how can we determine the number and type of roots given a polynomial equation. So at the beginning we will be having simple example. Find the number of roots using the graph of this polynomial with highest degree of a 3. Please take time to graph it whether using Desmos, GeoGebra, or manually. Pause, then continue. So, after graphing this function using GeoGebra or Desmos, you will be getting this graph. And previously, we were discussing the location principle and the roots. And we were saying that whenever you are having x-intercept, it is the solution or the root. And you are having f as f of x as minus, then as positive, then you have a change in the sign then there is one root here so you can know the roots by the x value or x intercept as 2.278 so previously we were discussing that the number of roots will be the same as the highest degree so now let's think of it you have degree of a three and you only got one root we are still having two roots. Where are they? Think of it. Pause and think of it. So now, after thinking, you know already that you cannot get the number of roots always directly by graphing. So, a mathematician called René Descartes discovered a relationship between the signs of the coefficient of a polynomial function and the number of positive and negative real zeros. And his rule is called the rule of signs. So given a polynomial equation or function, he were determining he was determining the number of roots and zeros using the change of sign so let's read this together pause and read it So after reading it, you will be knowing that the number of positive real zeros after taking the sign change, it is as the number of the sign change when you have looked at the coefficients or you can take less than this by an even number and pay attention to this. And the number of negative real zeros will be the same as the number of sign change uh, or less than it by an even number. But what is the difference? The first one, it was the sign change for P of X. But the second one, it is the sign change for P of minus X. So an easier way to do this is when you plug minus x inside the polynomial itself look at the highest power of the term that you are doing the sign change for if it is even then keep the sign and do not change it if it is odd then it change the sign after plugging minus x now you can pause read it again try to understand it then 
I will be going to the example. I will be giving you sample example. So, Descartes' rule of sign is telling you state the possible number of positive real zeros, negative real zeros, imaginary zeros of the given function. So it is the same function that we graphed here and we only found one root. Let's understand together where are the other two roots. So at the beginning he was telling me that if you looked at f of x the same without changing the sign of x so we have to put it same as it is check the sign change so the sign of x cubed was positive here if we went to the other term we have one sign change from positive to negative now let's look to the other term from minus to positive so we have another sign change then we have from positive to negative another sign change so he is telling you the number of positive real zeros is the same as the number of sign change of f of x so now let's count together how many positive real zeros we have three real and positive zeros positive zeros great now he was telling me also that you can have less than it by with an even number so let's go to my table you will construct a table with positive real zero negative and i so let's put our three first then what he was telling you here he was telling you or less than this number by an even number so what is the less than this number by an even number think of it so 3 minus 2 will be giving you 1 so it is less than it by an even number great so now we are having the positive real zeros as three or it can be one now let's understand where are the rest so for the negative one we will substitute f minus x now as i have told you before whenever you are having minus plugged into a function look at the highest power of each term if it is odd then you can change the sign so minus x cubed and look now at the other term you have minus 2x squared it is even so you will keep the sign as it is you will not change it minus 2x squared now let's go at 2x it is odd so you have to change the sign minus 2x then you have only minus 6 and it is a constant nothing should be changed on this now let's count how many sign change from negative to negative do you have any sign change nothing 
from negative to negative, from negative to negative. So you don't have any sign change. With this, no sign change. That means no negative real zeros. Then where are the rest? If there is no negative, so here zero, here zero. So where is now the other zero? It can be with the imaginary. So now how can you put this in your mind? Look at the total or highest degree. What was the highest degree in your question? was three now let's go to this table you want the total to be three so now if you added a three to zero to what you will be getting a three as it is so in the first case the imaginary number was zero now Ask yourself, what I should add here so I can have total of 3? Think of it. It's like an equation. 1 plus 0 plus x equal to 3. So, excellent. It is 2. this the negative real zeros zero all the time we don't have any negative real zero and the imaginary zeros are for you zero or two so it can be zero or two and pay attention to a note the complex zero or the imaginary zeros must be always even number why because of the complex conjugate rule whenever you are having an imaginary number ai it is a must to have another conjugate for it, minus ai. So you have to put this in your mind. For this, we are having even number of imaginary zeros. So if you got here any odd number, you have to know that your solution is wrong. And you have to repeat your solution again. That's the end of the video. I will leave a practice for you. So pause it, the practice, discuss it with me in the comments. I will be glad to answer all of you. Please take time to watch the video, concentrate on each word on it, then discuss with me. Thank you so much. Wait for the other videos.